Before we begin today's broadcast, we would like to take a moment to thank our supporters on Patreon.com slash HowdyFolks, whose support helps make live streams like this possible. If you want to become a patron supporter, head over to Patreon.com slash HowdyFolks today. And now, without further ado, let's begin the show. Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Final Fantasy VII Let's Play, where I've had a nap since the last time, and uh, I've had some more water. I will say that I have had a really bad headache over the last couple of days, uh, kind of on and off, and I don't know what the issue is. I've been wearing my my blue light glasses, and um, I'm not sure if I'm getting enough sleep or, or good sleep. I don't know what the deal is there, but uh, I'm certainly feeling better than I was last time. So hopefully we won't have any near mental breakdowns during today's stream. But howdy there, Blood Elf. Blood Elf is... Uh, partaking in a bit of pizza I see possibly one of the things I wanted to look at was how far away was the last resting area that we were at do we have to go way far back to get up there looks like we do or maybe I don't understand how maps work Ugh, I ask because apparently Tifa Cloud and Barrett have all had a real rough one here lately and we're, we're not looking too hot and we're about to go into a boss fight and I don't want to go on a boss fight and just die so, I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, what do we have in terms of items? Not a whole lot. We've got some high potions, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have Tifa and Cloud both take some high potions. And then we're going to hop over. Is that, that's the most healing that does. Goodness gracious me. In that case, Barret, can you do some curos for us? Can you, can you cure Tifa? Where does that get us? Can you cure Cloud? Can you cure yourself? And then, can we get some elixirs for everyone? Because we're about... Or not elixirs, I should say ethers. Because we're going into a fight. So we ended the last stream here at Corneo's Treasure Vault, where there's some sort of boss fight with a bunch of lizards, and one particularly nasty lizard. So... I don't know guess we're gonna hop in there. Let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at our weapon upgrades to make sure everyone's... Uh, Tifa's got plenty of room. She's got the mithril claws on. Are those even her best, or were we trying to upgrade those? I'm thinking about it now. She might have better weapons that we could equip. She does have the metal knuckles if we wanted to give her sheer all-out attack power. That's plus 55 to attack compared to uh, what we're dealing here with the mithril claws. But the mithril claws have room to add possibly... An additional... Do we have any additional healing? We've got the HP Absorption Materia. What does that one do? Uh, an attack link Materia type. Oh, okay, so we can link an attack. Oh, you know what? Works with fire. I've got an idea. Okay, we'll tell you what. For this fight, we'll worry about getting proficiency on that later. Ugh, metal Knuckles don't hold his... Okay, we'll leave the Mithril Claws on. Cloud, what are you doing? What do you have? You have Deadly Dodge and healing, and those don't really need to be mixed. And you've got fire. So what I think we should do, assess and lightning, we should drop lightning, and then we are going to move fire down here. No, we're not. We're going to move healing over here, move fire over here, and we're going to replace this with HP absorption. So when we cast fire, we'll be able to heal ourselves. And we talked about this in the last stream. On these these lizard dudes, casting fire, a fire aga, a fire, does damage them more than other attacks. But when it comes to clouds specifically, using his strike, which I've forgotten the name of already, hero strike, whatever it is, does a little bit more damage. But that is applicable solely to cloud. I think Barrett could probably cast fire and it'd be... You know, more effective than anything he's got. I'm not really sure. I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. Uh, let's swap this out, though, for the... Where is it? HP Absorption. Allows you to recover HP when unleashing an attack of the linked materia type. So when we cast fire at these guys, we'll get a little bit of HP back. And that, therefore, supersedes the other ability. Because it now means that we'll get HP back when we use it. So we're losing MP and an ATB gauge. But... This is, this is good. 20% of damage dealt is not a lot, but it's something at least. It's it's a little bit of something. <laughs> That's better than nothing! Um, let's hop into weapon upgrades. 
And we'll just top everybody off. Tifa in particular, we'll top her off before we run back in there. See what we've got that we can throw on these gloves to maybe get them up to spec. There's a whole new galaxy of options. Eh, it's more like a solar system, isn't it? So we can increase her attack power and add a couple of new materia slots, which we should probably look into doing at some point. We need to get more materia on these people, I think. But I'm going to actually focus on, what was it? We had attack, a, a couple of magic attack power boosts, elemental material damage boosts, attack high ATB charge rate. Hold on, wait, what? Go back. ATB charge rate 10% boost. That's the one. That's it, Marv. That's the silver tuna. Where the heck is that one at? It's always the last one. And then we're out. We can't upgrade these any further. Uh, we could probably upgrade something from one of the other systems, but we'll let it charge you up. Uh, we won't worry about that for right now. There's a bit on Cloud and a bit on Barrett that we can do. So let's hop in there and do that. I just want to be as, as sure as fire that we're not going to immediately have our the floor wiped when we walk in there. Limit break damage does a 5% boost. That's pretty good. Bloodsucker? Where is that at and what does that do? Does that turn him into a vampire? Because I'm down. When enemies are defeated in battle, you recover some HP. Heck to the yesles. That's the best thing. Have all of these been unlocked? Yes. None of these have been unlocked. Punisher mode, strong attack damage, 5% boost. Attack damage, 5% boost. Crippling damage, 10%. Uh, we'll hold on to that SP. And then Barrett, I don't think had that much to begin with. 19. He's using Big Bertha. He's got full proficiency with it, so we don't need to carry it anymore. We could swap out to a better weapon, actually, which is something we should do. Uh, because wasn't Big Bertha not the best? Shrek me, what am I talking about? Big Bertha is clearly the best. In terms of shooty guns. You know, we can switch to Wrecking Ball. Alright, well, we'll leave that there then. And I'm not really sure what we've got that's new here. And we're not going to worry about it either. We'll go through those stats in a minute. Do I need to do a save? I don't think I do. I think that, you know, I can just go back to before the battle. And that will technically count. Wait, am I loading or am I saving? I'm saving. I had to check the screen over there. Um, hopefully that's what we're doing. Saving game data. Thank goodness. Imagine if I just loaded and we had to go through all of that again. I've already forgotten all the changes we made. I don't know what's different. I'd never be able to get back to that point. All right. It's time to go in. For better or for worse... I just realized that the, the webbing or whatever that is, maybe moss hanging down from the ceiling, looks a whole lot like data in the Matrix. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Cloud has, like, double... Okay, cool. So, Fire Aga deals a large amount of fire damage. Let's do it. Yeah, that didn't do a whole lot of damage. But should have restored some, uh... Should have restored some HP. So we can't do that again, but we can do Fire Aga. Oh my gosh. And at that point, we're down to fire. And this is... Oh, wow! How did this guy get... Oh, he's, he's staggered. I didn't even realize. Well, that's one down. We've actually made it way further than we did last time. In that we've managed to kill one of the enemies. Let's focus strike this guy. You ready? And then also, can you... How are you doing, Tifa? Oh, you don't... Never mind. I was going to have her do her chakra ability to heal. Entirely unnecessary. Come dive kick the prince. I don't know, maybe we should focus on the other guy, though. Because he's he's not doing too hot right now. Also, let's go ahead and take a turbo ether. Fully restore... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, let's get this guy down first. Because, as far as I see, if he's down, we can focus everybody's attention on this last baddie. Big old fire aga. Yeah, he staggered. So that's the thing about... Thing, okay, that is something I didn't take into consideration that I should have last time. I'm feeling a bit like a fool for it. When you use the ability that is their weakness, even if it does less damage, in my experience, it does tend to stagger them much more quickly. So we should have been doing that all along. Not that it seems to work with this guy. Dang it. All set. Hey. Uh -huh. Now's chance. This 
We have a leapfrog, but I don't even know what it does. Jump in the air and kick your foe from above. Sure, why not? Tifa, Cloud, Barret. I think we got him. I think we're going to get him before he's done being staggered. What a wonderful start to this stream. Ah. Uh, Blood Elf says that channel points are a way for people to earn rewards for supporting the channel without using money. That's true, Blood Elf. That's what they're there for. You've used them to say, mmm, pizza. And I appreciate that. That's pretty much the only thing we know that they can do. Is they, um, they let you say... Let you highlight things in chat. There's probably some plugins at this point. I'll need to look into them and see if there's some other cool things you can do. Like maybe trigger an alert on screen or a sound effect or something. Ooh, that would be cool. Trigger a sound effect. Or maybe a message. So you could like use them to have a message pop up on screen. You can edit them, says Blood Elf. Okay. It sounds like a fun time. They've been in there now for a couple of months. I, I remember whatever the last thing we were streaming our way through. And I, I cannot remember at this point what the last thing we streamed through was. But I remember using them during that. Um, or them being around during that, not necessarily using them. And still just like even then not really knowing what they were there for. Okay then. Y'all think we got everything? I think so. Question is, not what? Might have been it's Outer Worlds, be yeah. This stuff. I completely forgot we streamed through Outer Worlds. What about Mara? We could ask her to help. I'm sure she'd be happy to. We could do that, or we could keep all the cash for ourselves and invest it in a, a broad stock option portfolio sort of situation and retire. Um, did that all sound like I knew what I was talking about? Do I sound like a professional? I should. Let's get out of here. Let's go over here. Let's check out our quests. Let's see what we're looking at next. So we got to go recover. Give it to trustworthy Marl. Okay. Who is trustworthy Marl? Is that the old woman? Do I need to go do that right now? Can I do that later? I feel like I need to continue the quest, but I'm also worried that if we go much further, we won't be able to come back. Because we're, we're in the end game now. So do I need to run backwards through the sewers? Or do we just finish helping him over here, and then we'll have run of the city again? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Also, we recovered a, a high potion and some... Uh, some mako. Are we going the right direction? To continue the plot, I think? Yes? Yeah. Up the ladder. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do another save. I, I hesitate to start saves coming in this game. But just in case, we need to reload the save because we've made a horrible mistake and we can't come back down here. We'll do a very brief save. And then we'll head up top. And we'll see what wonders await us at the top of this ladder. I don't know. We'll find out. If you folks, you know, you know, keep it to yourselves. I want it to be a surprise. Are we going to face Corneo? Is that what this is? The Cornetto trilogy? Is that what's happening? He's just been waiting here this whole time for us. Crouched inside of this box. This ductwork is not a box. Well, it's boxy. No, that that girl's boxy. Boxy? Uh, that's a different thing. Oh, we've been here. There's an open container. Presumably I opened that. I guess we've been down here before. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, have we just come full circle? I do believe that we have just come full circle. Yeah. Yeah, this is the what We came in right over there. Oh, these cheeky doubloons. That's... You know what? We're sticking with it. They're a bunch of cheeky doubloons. Now where to? Come on, my dude. You gotta explain to me how this place works. I'm so confused. I'm so twist-turned upside down. Oh, we're, we're going back to the door! Right? That's what's happening? Yes? Wow. 
What are the odds that trap door would lead us back here? Lay that side. Think the kid's gonna be okay going in alone? Nope, apparently not, because we're going in behind him. Oh, us of little fate. What do you think, Blood Elf? Do you think he would have been okay going in on his own? I think the game's given us an opportunity to sit and rest, and we'd be fools uh, not to take it. It's Leslie! Got some urgent info for the Don! <laughs> Come alone? Of course. Really? No. Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Don't uh. betray us in this moment. Don't do it. Uh. Hi, hi, Harv. <coughs> well, that was a valiant effort. I don't think I need to remind you why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. I mean, many people still died. Humans lost I their lives in this. Secret. Shinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market. I'll be lucky to live another week. So it's going to be close to paradise, or location-wise, it'll be located near paradise. One of those two. I was gonna let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo! Villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation, hmm? When you think you've already won. <laughs> the gun's empty. Think again. Oh, darn it. I thought the gun was going to be empty, and all of this was just so he would admit, admit the evil plan in front of us. That would have been a good twist. Now we'll never know. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. Good, Abzu! Feel free to play with your food. Gone out. Bastard! I didn't like this the first time we fought it, and I really don't want to fight it again. And yet... First him, then Corneo. Here we are. Okay. I don't remember anything about this guy other than the fact that the last time we fought him, he could summon stuff, water, something like that. I, I don't really remember the details. I want to get his little underlings. Where did they go? Oh, we've already got an assess ready. Let's see if he's changed any. Oh, he's got a tail we can scan now. What fun. Tell me about yourself. A giant beast. Wolf of Wall Market. <laughs> I just saw that blood elf. A giant beast that Don Corneo keeps in the sewers. Much more intelligent than it appears, it uses the surrounding environment to its advantage and attacks with sewer water. Not anymore, it doesn't. Fire, it looks like, once again, and is resistant to ice. Well, then, Shrek me, you know what must be done, my friends. We must fire Aga the Beast. Should we attack just like part of its body? 
or should we be attacking the hole? You know what? Let's not let's not cast the spell right in front of it. That would be stupid, and we would regret that decision. Wait, where'd he go? Why is he in the water? Braver was the ability I was trying to think of earlier. That did not hit him at all. I don't want to say anything about the ease or lack of with this fight. What I will say is that so far, these little guys haven't really come into it at all. Uh-oh. Okay, one of them is flooding. Well, it's a good thing that didn't hit any of us, I guess? Um, uh, just attack Abzu. Just get him. Guess we should take care of these guys while we've got the opportunity. The lock-on system in this game is not the best. I'm not going to lie. These turbo ethers, I don't even know if we can buy them. I've, I've not been on the, the hunt for them. So, so we've got another backwater blast here. We're standing clear of it. We should be fine. Oh, Barret, no! Why did you stand there, Barret? I can't be expected to babysit you. Make sure you're not standing in the way of an obvious attack, Barret. Can you do maximum fury on this guy, by the way? Thanks. I'm not sure if we would be better off attacking, like, his tail or something first, and then working our way up to the rest of his body. Might be the case. Not really focused on it, though. Is he okay? He's acting like he's drunk. All right, let's see if we can... Hold on, is he about to jump in the water? Does not look like he is. Okay, in that case, let's give him the old one-two from Tifa. Increases the strength of the next command executed. So do that, and then follow it up with dive kick. Barrett's not looking too hot for health, so at some point he's going to need to be healed. There. Not by us, though. He can heal himself here in a second. All right, everybody, get to the middle. Get to the middle. Barrett, get to the middle. Burn. Don't provoke me. I will shoot you with fire. All right. Last turbo ether. Let me handle this. Get Clow. Uh, get um, get Barrett over here, where we're sure he can't cause any uh, any self harm. <laughs> Bless him. Okay, who's hurting right now? Tifa's hurting. How many of these? We've only got one. I'll hang back. I got this. Yes. Uh oh, he's angry.
Okay, everyone, let's take a moment to just get a feel for what's going on here. First off, Maximum Fury. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. On the main guy. Cloud. I can't believe I'm about to do this. I'm not. I can't do anything. Tifa! Chakra yourself. That's the best thing I can do for you right now. Oh! Alright. Smack him. Darn it. I was worried that was about to happen. Alright. Phoenix down. On Cloud. Tifa. Do Chakra again. And then can we summon? No, we have to have an ATB meter to summon. Or an a gauge on the ATB meter. Don't let him die again! What, can you summon? You can summon Shiva. Not good. He, he needs to be hit with fire. Could you real quickly cure... Cloud, who's just going to start rolling now until he gets not dead. Perfect. There we go. Okay. <sighs> the first, all the way up until now, part of this fight has been very easy. Not easy, but manageable. Now I'm starting to lose track of everyone's health. Just gonna keep having Tifa do chakra to heal herself. Okay. I think we're all managed again. I think we're doing all right. This is the last little guy, I believe. Tifa's got her limit. That is regrettable. That that is very upsetting. Who can heal him right now? Nobody. Who can heal Cloud right now? Somebody heal Cloud. He's got his limit. Don't let Cloud die. Come on. How's Tifa doing for health? Oh. All right. Yeah. Um. Let's not let either of them die. Preferably. Cloud, wait, what happened just then? Um, Cloud, do your limit on, on Abzu, and then can we not, uh, Tifa, for heaven's sake, don't die. What's he doing? No, he's like next to death. What is he doing? They're all about to go. What? That should have done it. That should have killed him. His... Oh. Thank goodness. We did it. Uh, good job, everyone. Barrett's now level 29. I don't think that it... Did we... Did, did, are we all alive? Is everybody alive? Is nobody dead? What happened to the boy? Where's our escort? Where's our guide? What happened to him? He's no longer present. Okay. You okay? Oh, right, he got pushed through the wall, the Where's door. Cornelia? Sorry, bastard got away. Uh, it's fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Huh?
she could still be out there. I did kill the boss again, Myko95. I killed it for reals this time, though. Also welcome. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? We'll meet again. Huh? It's a symbol of reunion. <laughs> then I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. <laughs> Thanks. Hold up. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here. And then I'll give you what you need. I didn't know we were down here looking for a burlap sack this whole time, believe it or not. That's news to me. Um, also, I fully expected this guy to be just dead when we got in here. We got tossed right through this door in the most unbelievable fashion. We're going to head back up because we got all we needed from down here. Including finding the last of Corneo's stash of treasures. See, that's pretty good. I'm very pleased with that. Pleased with the way that turned out in that instance. Everything went precisely to plan that time around. And it's good to see that it happened like that. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Uh, that's the circle of life and death. The sun will come up. When? Tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow ah. they'll be. Taste that sweet mid <laughs> This way. Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But they're one way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. You should probably get your affairs in order. Just in case. This is the finish all of your side quests speech. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone too. That right. Hope you find it. You too. I literally cannot. Did the controller turn off? No? Um, return to Marl. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Let's wrap up the quest. I have no idea how to get back to where we just were, though, but hopefully there's a chocobo that'll take us. Because if not, we're in trouble. Hey, Marl. Oh, what brings you here? Gifts from an angel. They're to be used to help the people of Sector 7 rebuild. The Angel of the Slums? You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me, what was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can use it more than me. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Thank you. That's that's fantastic. What do you people sell? We got a weapons guy. Please tell me. Do you have potions? What have you got on you? You do. Do you, you don't have any mega ethers though? How 
deeply unfortunate that is that you don't have any of those. Cures all elements. Do we have any of these? We own three of them, apparently. Echo. Cures silence. Poison. Revives and restores a small amount of HP. Restores 20 MP. It's, ugh. Wish we hadn't used all those ethers. We're probably going to need more in the future. I don't want to buy these. Maybe, you know what? There might be better ones once we get on the other side there. of the wall. Maybe that's what we got to wait for. Once we're beyond the wall. That been taken care wall market. A lot better around here. Wall market. Collapse Expressway. Where do I go? Oh, here we go. I see now. So if we go here. No, that's my current location. Wait, where do I need to go to for the quests? If I zoom out a bit, it'll show me. I need to be over here. Over the wall. That's where it is relative to current position. And what are you? Sam's delivery station. Can we fast travel to Sam's delivery station? Obviously, it's not here. It's going to be up in Wall Market, isn't it? Like right, right here. Right there. That's the one. All right. I figured it out. I understand how the maps work. We're going to get over there in no time. We're going to zip line over the wall. And we're going to be heading on into the end game, which is pretty exciting. Uh, this direction, I reckon. It's a good tune. I mean, it's not as good as the other one that plays sometimes when you're on Chocobo. The Chocobo Beat, or whatever it's called. When you're, when you're rolling down the street with that Chocobo Beat going... How are we so far away? What? How did we not get to what? You know what? Shrek it. We're just going to run over there. We're just going to run over there. I was so off my bases on where I thought we were. We basically almost run back to where we it started before that journey. Oh, that is a darn shame. You know what? This does give us the opportunity if we want to, to go back by Madame M's and uh, get another hand massage. If we are, uh, if we are feeling so inclined. We could try one of the other options. See that over there? It's a little annoying to hear the exact same snippets of conversation every time you run through here. All right. So I feel like this is it. Straight ahead still. Don't tell anyone. And then... I'm sorry, what? We passed it. It's back here. What, through this building? Am I am I missing something? Oh. Oh, I am missing something obvious. This must be new. This was not here before. So if we... Hold on. What's that other mark on the map? Did y'all see that? I thought we did... Oh, Sector 5 slums. What is this? Apparently there's an, a, another quest... That we haven't done? What is that? Johnny's stolen wallet. Did we not complete that one? Get, get me off of this. I thought we completed that one. It's not listed on the map. Or on the... Well, hold on a minute. We can't leave without giving Johnny back his wallet. I just assumed we'd completed all of the missions here. Don't tell anyone. Where is he? Where the heck is he? I don't see him on here. He's in Sector 5. All the way at the Sector 5 slums? Well, then Shrek, we'll continue back down this path because there's a chocobo down here, I just noticed. So presumably we can take said chocobo sign back to Sector 5 and then we'll come right back. We've done a lot of running in the last 5 or 10 minutes that's been completely unnecessary. Hi there. This song helps me to unwind after a long day at work. You look a bit tired yourself. Here, listen. Thank you. How many songs do we have, and how many are there? Do I have a list of that? Enemy intel, spells, inventory, key items, music collection. We've got song one, two, three. We're missing four and five. Six, we're missing seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty. Missing twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, missing 26, 27, 28, 
29, 30. So there's 30 total and we're missing, I don't even know what was that, five of them? Do you reckon we're going to find them as we continue our journey? Or are they in places that it's too late, we'll never be able to track them down and we'll just never have those songs? And it's just a darn shame. Oh, is this, this is where we came out of the sewers. This is where we go over the wall right over here. And the sign... Yeah, this is big. Let's not do this yet. We're not ready. We're not prepared. There's a chocobo apparently back here, though. A chocobo stop sign. Literally right here. Got him. All right. Take me to Sector 5 Undercity entrance, I guess, is where we want to go. Or is he at the Undercity station, if I remember correctly? He's somewhere around in here, this Johnny fellow. I... It's weird that that quest would have been checked off if there was still more to it. I don't understand that. I'm deeply confused, but we're going to find Johnny. We're going to set this right. We're not leaving, you know, the Undercity before making sure all of our dots are teed and our, our eyes are crossed or whatever they say. You know, we want to make sure that we have nothing left behind when we go on to the next stage of our adventure. Home. home might be the better option. Let's see. This rate they'll probably So yeah, he's right over here where we left him. And I was looking forward to my first train. My wallet! My precious wallet! You really did it, bro! I knew I could count on you! For the last time, don't call me that. Thank you. Now I can get out of town. You're leaving? Hush, Tifa. Don't try to stop me. I'm a wanted man in these parts. If I stayed, I'd be a danger to you, too. Uh, okay? But if you begged me to stay, I could reconsider throwing everything away. Good luck out there, Johnny. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh. You're Johnny. Don't forget. Uh, ooh. Hell yeah, I am! I'm your Johnny, Tifa, and nothing's gonna bring me down! Bro, Tifa, keep on shining. Johnny out. I can't wait to run across him in future installments, you know? Also, can we keep up with him? Where is he running to? Is he just going to be disappeared when we come around this corner? No more Johnny. Johnny is gone. I guess we won't be seeing Johnny until Der Sequel. Der Final Fantasy VII Part Two. All right. I think that is now actually finally everything. We can check the map again. And the only thing I see, Sector 6 slums. Getting the heck out of Dodge. Getting the heck out of here. So let's see if we can figure out which Chocobo that is. Evergreen Park. Collapsed Expressway. Urban Advancement District. It's got to be that one, right? I feel like that's what that is. Hal Rondo! Welcome, welcome. You didn't look at the thing, did you? Could you be more specific for me? That would be swell. Uh, and then I can let you know whether or not I've solved the thing that you're asking me about. Uh, but welcome. Things are going so much better. We we beat the boss. Two bosses? Well, we beat the fight against the uh, lizard merchant prince guy. Was that our first try? Second try. And then we beat the big Corneo boss, and, and everything's just going smoothly today. Your defense. Mmm. Mmm. I did I didn't. Send me a message again on Discord. Well, the thing is, I wonder if I can copy the link. Let me check one more time here. Oh, I can download it. It still won't play. Well, no, I don't have audio. It's not a Discord problem. It's the fact that I don't have audio. Is there supposed to be audio? If I just play it and I can read it, right? Dot, 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 dot. You have no evidence to prove that he is Nigerian, not to mention his royalty. This is nothing but a ridiculous conspiracy. What is this? Oh, right! We're <laughs> it took me a second to figure out what the heck that was in reference to. For those of you who aren't on the Discord and are not in the Patreon Lounge, um, we accuse Halorando of being a Nigerian prince. Because he is. And, you know, if you help bring him back to power, he will rain down gifts and blessings upon you for your support during these trying times while he's been exiled to uh, America. So, uh, that's good old Nigerian prince Halorando there. Michael95's got school. Hey, 
Are you going to school? Because that's pretty cool. Or if you just got to do schoolwork at home, that's that's also at least something. Um, it'd be nice to get out into the world, though, right? Hey, uh, thank you for tuning in, though, Myco95. Have a good one. Videos can easily be edited, and that is something that a Nigerian prince trying to hide his true nature would say. That's right. I did say you had a right to an attorney. That's true. I mean, that's not really me giving you that right. That's Ready just like a basic this? American start up that wall, constitutional right. Back here but anytime soon. You big fan of uh, Ace Attorney? We won't be coming back here anytime soon. Better handle any unfinished business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I agree. What was the letter that we got? We didn't read it. Let me see. Let me check that before we climb over. Aren't the Ace Attorney games on the Switch now? And aren't, aren't the Professor Layton or whatever his name games on there too? Two series is that I'm familiar with, but I've never played. Would it be a key item? Letter. We're looking for a Guardian Angel's calling card. I see that we had a, a letter from the Guardian Angel. Maybe that one. I saw what you did for the people here, and on behalf of those you've helped, I just wanted to say thank you. You've shown a bit of shown uh, shone a bit of sunlight in this dreary town. I attached a little something to this letter, not much, but I figure it might come in handy. Don't forget, you've got an angel watching over you now, the guardian angel of the slums. Wish I'd paid more attention to what else we picked up. Wait, hold on, no, Hal, don't get excited. I th I thought I saw something about the Professor Layton games. Professor Layton, let me make sure. Switch. Let me see what we've got. Let me see what comes up. Okay, so when I type in... What I get is Layton's Mystery Journey. And then uh, la launch trailer on the Switch. So Layton's Mystery Journey is a game that's on there. So I guess it's not the original Profe Professor Layton games. This one appears to be about a girl. It's a girl. She's doing this on the cover, though, so you know she's serious. Um, I, I can't tell you what this is in relation to the originals. This is why you, you never take my word for for anything, all right? I uh, only hear, like, small snatches of information on the sidelines, and then I, instead of verifying them myself, ask my live stream audience Hope to verify them now. for me. No coming back, remember. Hey, is it true that there's, like, a... A pandemic going around or something? I heard that, but I, I haven't actually looked into it any further. If you guys know anything about that, that'd be great. Climb the wall? Yeah, let's do it. No no turning back. It's a weird spinoff that kind of takes place in the future. I'm in. So, when this is over, you gonna go on being a merc? That's the plan. Reckon it suits you. <sighs> yeah, it does. Used to think you were a little shit with a big attitude and a bigger inferiority complex. Was Quite he ever possibly wrong? Possibly the worst person I have ever met. But that was before I figured you out. All this, it ain't you. Deep down, you're a pretty nice guy. Oof! For kids, but don't know about any of that. But kindness is no use on the battlefield. Hey, good guy. Welcome to the stream. Liability. Hey, no one's asking you to treat Shinra with kid gloves. <sighs> Aerith's up there waiting for us. Then we better get a move on, huh? Ready? How have I been? I've been pretty all right. I've been pretty okay. Thank you for asking. We've been having a lot of fun with Final Fantasy VII. So, you know, anytime you're enjoying life and having fun, that's a good one in my book, hon. <laughs> Chapter 15. There's only 18 total, right? Two goals. Goal one. Kick some Shinra ass and save the planet. Go to save the girl while kicking Mo Shinra ass and get out. Copy. We are in the end game now, my friends. We are deep into the end game. Gotta be careful. No telling what's gonna collapse or win. Bobby, 
Where did Daddy go? Oh, that was that was the worst voice acting in the game. Are you hurt? That was horrendous. I hated hearing that. That made me feel nauseous. Mommy, where did Daddy go? Where is my Daddy at? Mommy, Mommy, is Daddy's inside squished out next to his outside, Mommy? You got something you tell me? You guys might want to turn around. A friend of ours needs help. It's too dangerous. For you, maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Just try to be careful. Don't worry about me, my dude. I'm fine. Oh, is this the darn tower again? What have we got here? Energy drink potions. Items. Armor. We can get a sorcerer sandwich. We're not going to, though. Accessories. Look at these. Enter battle with an auto life status effect. Breaks upon use. That's a, well, that's not really a waste of 500 gil. That's pretty good. That's basically like spirit capable of restoring one's fading consciousness. That's basically like just giving everyone a um an automatic phoenix down at the start of every fight. And I mean, how much is a phoenix down? 300. Well, okay, then that's obviously the better option. We kept talking about getting another healing materia, but at the end of the day, I don't think we're actually going to do it. Everyone's speaking in highlighted messages now. And I'm absolutely in love with it. Alright, we need some ethers, but I want to wait and see if we get the option to, you know, get some better ethers later on, you know? Also, I don't think this is necessary. I don't think we've done anything since the last time we rested. But, yeah, it's fine. Alrighty, gang. Tifa, you you say that I'll go first. And then you, and then Barrett. Oh my gosh, are they actually... <gasps> they're doing it. Fantastic. Wouldn't it be great if this was just like a silent... <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say like a meditative, relaxing jaunt up the side of this tower. And they didn't have any sort of loud battle music or anything distracting us. It was all just us. You know, looking in on all this destruction that's been caused. But no, no. This was good, too. This was also good. Cloud, that was a bit early to say that's that. There's another one, like, right up here. Keep now down. that is that. One step at a time, huh? Whoa! Look at that. That looks good. That's not... A painted background? Ugh. What happened? I still theorize that the backgrounds look like this as an intentional throwback to the original, right? That's what we're going with? As opposed to just a really cheap veneer on the skybox? It's a throwback. This is what I choose to believe. That or this game actually takes place in the world of that movie where Jim Carrey is inside of a giant dome. Is that what what is it called? The Truman Show? It's one of those two things. Either we're in the Truman Show or it's a throwback to the original. Or it's meant to look like that. I've seen the skybox weirdly before. I'll toss something in memes. Good, I'm looking forward to that. I love a good meme. I mean, a lot of people could say that my life is a meme. Lol. This is weird. It's an actual crate. You know, as opposed to normally we find little canisters. My life is a meme, but it's one of those weird introspective memes that isn't actually funny except for the guy who wrote it. And he gets like a kick out of it, but everyone else is just like, dude, I don't I don't know if I understand. I 
feel like these fights will be over a lot faster if we just play as um, if we just play as Barrett, as he can actually shoot them from a distance. Or at least that's what I was going to say until this starts fight started, and things immediately went downhill. That's a wall. That's unfortunate that we've spent so much energy on a wall. Not happy about that at all. What are these guys weak to? Oh, we'll never know. Can she actually hit one of them in the air with that ability? This is an oddly challenging fight against bad guys that probably have a weakness that I don't know. We could do an assess with Cloud. Or we could just take a guess and say that, oh, you know what? They're flying. I bet they'd hate if their wings caught on fire. Eh, I did a little bit of something. Yeah, it's better than nothing. What if we thundered them? Imagine if you're out flying and then suddenly lightning. They didn't seem to like that much either. It's an icy... Uh, or no, it said icy, didn't it? Or was I imagining it said icy? Did it say icy for a second? Wow. It's only not dead yet because for a moment I paused while shooting it. Because I got real confident that that last shot was going to kill it and it didn't. How about that? Wind? Wind would be good. The problem with wind, though, Blood Elf, as you well know, is that literally no one I have is equipped with wind at any time ever. Except for maybe Aerith. But where is Aerith at right now? That's the real question. How are we doing on spells? Eh. Uh, have to do some... See, we should have bought some more ethers. I just kept thinking, well, maybe we'll find some turbo ethers at the next little thing that we find. Like, if we go to another station up here, maybe there'll be a dispenser with turbo ethers. Wouldn't that be nice? So that's where we have to climb? If it comes apart while we're up there. Ah! We've made it through worse, you know. Yeah, no kidding. It's a miracle we haven't been killed a dozen times over by now. I mean, it's funny you say that. Yeah, you're getting a bit meta, but we definitely have. This rope belongs to search and rescue. Think we might be able to climb up here. Oh, guys, this Time seems like a bad runs. idea. Try to aim for that part of the rope that's hanging there. Don't screw up and fall. By the way, how well you do with this grappling gun will tell us a whole lot about you. <laughs> Just remember, we can't come back down. Are you ready? I'm checking the meme real fast. Dang it, there's no sound. I'm watching Tifa fall, though. Oh! 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 Oh, oh bless. How long does this go for? She just keeps falling into the black abyss? Okay, well, we'll see if we can make that happen. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if we can make that happen. I'm sorry, what used the grappling gun? To reach high locations. You need to find a spot above you where the grapple can catch and hold. In a location where a grapple can be fired, there will be a rope coiled in the ground below. If you come across such a rope, look up and try to find a spot to attach the grapple. I think I see a rope hanging off the top there. I think I do too, mate. I think I do too. Oh, now imagine if this was just an ability we could use at any time anywhere. Would it break the game? Yes. Too easy. Would that be a problem? Up, I'm gonna get bored. <laughs> Oh, 
Mm, unfortunate. We're gonna have to fight that, I think. Huh. We can take them. We need to stay on mission. The whirly dudes are the most ridiculous thing in the game. For some reason, they give me the Magnet Men vibes, though, from Spy Kids 2. Saving Aerith is our top priority. I think just because they're equally ridiculous looking. Have we ever fought these guys before? Or are these a different type of soldier? I don't think we've ever seen them before. A 3C soldier. Like a 3C3PO? 3C3PO? What am I trying to say? Bears a liability? Yes, he is. Special troopers that have been enhanced with Mako Energy soldiers. Oh! They're soldiers. Are divided into three classes based on their capability. The third class is the lowest, but even if they are vastly more effective, even so, even then they are vast. Yeah, even they are vastly more effective than standard troopers. Hitting them with physical attacks and blocking their, so will eventually make them susceptible to staggering. They are weak to fire. That also is something that they are weak to, right there. What you just saw. Oh, please do a voice. Please do a voice. Hunter 2 2. Why does that sound familiar? This is Hunter 2 2. Just had to put down a few monsters. Over. Roger. Freaking avalanche making us put in OT. Probably cowering in the dark somewhere. If you find the shitheads, make them suffer. 2 3 out. Listen up! We ain't running and we ain't hiding! Y'all don't know the meaning of suffering, but you will. Call was over. I don't think that's how walkie-talkies work. I don't understand why they care you know what i mean like if you're shinra at this point if you're planning to go build a new facility some other place and you don't really care about midgar anymore why do you still care inside. what calm down gang why do you care about midgar you know what i mean uh oh okay so we don't want to be in front of the window when that thing rises. oh oh okay i guess it's all right then i guess we can just run this is the direction we're going in, yeah? This is what we want? This is what we want. Why don't anyway. We use our grappling guns to get up there? I don't know. Why don't we? Choice. As I was trying to say, though, if they're going to build a new facility somewhere close to Paradise, whether that be locationally near or similar to Paradise, why even bother with this place? Just be, be, be done with it. Let Avalanche have their way. Shut down the Mako reactors. Be done with it. Oh no, not a whirly bird guy. That's not what I'm here for. Get the guy in the air. Get get the guy in the air. Get the guy in the air. Take 
taken over. Brace yourself. It's on you. Stop it! Aim at him! Wait, how many more of them are there? Oh my gosh, they're still coming. And they won't stop coming. No, doggo! Hey, sometimes doggo's gotta die for the greater good. one endless fight because if so I love it but I also hate it because what happens if I die after a certain amount of time has passed and I do I have to go back to the beginning then what no this guy oh the lock on is the worst in this game just throwing that out there Music's great, though. Don't overdo it. Yes, it's my turn. They'll be coming for us now. Well, yeah, we've just killed, like, the most of them, so yes. The most of them? We've just kilted the most of them. So yes, I wager that they will be very upset about that. I would be. Would you be? What do you think? Can we climb it? Sure. The I just hope that this can be Look at the, what, I just almost ran right past this. Literally, if it had not been for the musical cue, we would not know that track number five, Lurking in the Darkness, was right here. As well as an epic deal on Mega Potions, Ethers, Phoenix Downs. I guess we should buy some regular ethers too. Tell you what. We'll grab two of them. Because we can't find any of the, the, the good ethers, can we? Also, is there anything back here? Not going oh, hi. Tell you what, we're about to go sit down on a bench and we're going to be fully restored. So why not just go ahead and... It said they were weak to fire, right? Holy snot, that's a good one. Love to see it. Tifa's dead, though. Hate to see that. Hate to see a Tifa die. It is what it is sometimes, though, right? All right, who's left here? Oh, there's actually a couple of guys. I didn't realize. No escape. Keep it together. Nice. Very clean. I mean, yeah, there was that small issue of Tifa literally falling over dead. But aside from that, I, she wasn't, like, dead dead. She was just, she needed a bit of a break. She needed to lie down. It happens sometimes. It happens to the best of us. Even I, the best of us, have to have a lie down every so often. Also, we've still not figured out how to get Tifa yeeted off the edge yet. We're going to work on it. I'm assuming it doesn't have to be Tifa. It could probably be anyone. Could be, uh, could be, could be Barrett, could be Cloud. We just gotta figure out, I, I wasn't sure what enemy was attacking them in that video. We might need to go back and double reference it. Double reference? I mean, just reference it one more time, but I guess you could call that a double reference. Oh, I. Daycare or Dragon Guarded Castle. It's a reference you folks would better get. Oh, no, little robots. Not the little robots. Ha! 
Ugh, don't want to fight the little robots. We're fighting the little robots, though. And you know what? We can just do some... Oh, darn it. Who's got lightning? Didn't Cloud have lightning at one point? And I was like, we're getting rid of lightning for something else. Oh, uh, was that like the great mistake of our time? These guys are the worst, so we're not regretting it too much right now. About damn time. What happened to that flying dude? No surprises there. No, none at all, Chief. It's 2 a.m. and Harv has school tomorrow. Actual school? Like you're leaving your house and going to school? So, I'm, I mean, I'm into it. Get back out there, you know, see the world. Glad to see it. But uh, hey, thanks for tuning in, Harv. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, go get a good morning's rest. Go get some sleep in. You're going to need it. If you want to be your, your best and brightest, you'd better go sleep inside us. You're still in lockdown. Okay, so it, it's, you know what? It's an activity that keeps you busy, and that's what matters. Well, that's where I'm supposed to look, but where am I supposed to stand when I do it? Never mind. I uh, Sometimes I start sentences that are questions, right? And I'll start to ask them, and then, unfortunately, I figure out the answer before I'm done talking. So I'm in the middle of doing the thing that I was asking about while the sentence is still going. But I don't want to stop the sentence because I feel like it, it interrupts the flow. So I just keep asking the question that I've already figured out the answer to. And I don't know. I question why I do these things sometimes. Why am I the way that I am? We may never know. Also, it turns out this was not the direction we needed to be going in. Oh my goodness, I just realized. Harv is not on lockdown, he's on lickdown, which is, um... Must be a UK thing we're not familiar with over here. Just teasing you, fam. I knew what you were talking about. That's why I didn't pick up on the lick thing. Time to kick ass and take aim. Oh! What is this? Have we seen this before? Oh, Shrek. Let's figure out what the heck it is we're dealing with here. The Blast Ray. A modified version of the Slug Ray. Larger than the original model, but unable to fly. Equipped with a rapid fire grenade launcher that can eliminate multiple targets at once. Oh! One of those. Its stagger gauge is filled each time a certain amount of damage is inflicted. It's weak to. You guessed it. No one has it yet. Keep it together. Let's not even bother with Cloud. Because now we can do one of these. That thunder I hear. Let's do this. Don't overdo it. I got this. Let's pour on the pain. Leave it to me. What are we attacking right now? Because it looks like we're attacking this rock. Keep it together. Okay, let's go. It's on you. About damn time. Ain't got nothing on me. I thought that was going to be a little bit more tricky. Now, if there's two of them, we might be in for a bit of a We're all going down. bit of a hassle. So clearly, that's the way up and the direction we should be going. So naturally, we're going to run around this entire platform first. We're going to survey the beautiful skybox. 
the beautiful artistry pulled from the original 1997 I believe it was game from the look of it pulled directly with no alterations why did they do this why was this a decision that was made I cannot fathom it I'm sure we'll find out someday gotta buy the super ultimate deluxe edition it has the behind the scenes blu-ray just like a bunch of guys arguing no no we're gonna make the no we're making look i no we're not doing that we're gonna put the on the back of it it's gonna be it's gonna be a digitally hand drawn no let us listen to me it's just like an argument like that going on for about half an hour the skybox hurts your brain Good guy, the skybox hurts my soul. Again, though, I think there's a charm to it. I think that, you know, assuming it wasn't a budget cut and it was like just people saying, no, we just wanted to play homage to the original. Like, if that's the case, I'm going to I'm going to accept it. But if it's just like, oh, yeah, no, this is what this is what they had us do because time was of the essence and we needed to get the game rushed out. Then I'm going to be a little bit less understanding. This seems all kinds of sketchy. Don't you ever forget this view. Oh, I don't think that I ever will, Barrett. Trust me. I don't I don't think that that is possible. We only evacuated people in Sector 7 slums, so everyone who was living in the upper city they're dead Save now aren't they no need son i've got more than enough to keep me going for days this is awkward but i've got to go to the restroom real fast i've had to pee since we started climbing this tower and i was like well how long could this take longer than i thought Blood Elf asks, where does Barrett's ammo come from? I actually have the answer to this question. I know it definitively without any doubt. His body produces it naturally. So like all of the, the fluids and things that your body produces, uh, Barrett's body does that with bullets. Barrett, hang in there, man. The worst that can happen is that you tumble off the edge and die a painful death. Which is pretty much what, it's what we've been risking this whole game. Was there treasure up there or was that my imagination? There is. There's a ladder there and there's a rope here. Oh! Oh, it's monsters. Unexpected. It's on you. I just noticed that Cloud's about to die. Cloud, what are you doing? Check out this ship right here. Get yourself sorted out, mate.
I just I just glanced over the chat and I saw why is the only sub emote a pineapple. Uh, you'll find that it's a pineapple with my face on it, courtesy of I believe Helrondo. He made that for us. Um, we just haven't uploaded any other ones. It is a long story. Basically, there used to be this this cult, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I just realized that the Fruit Wars is an incredibly long and very bizarre story to try to just explain to someone. Um, look, suffice to say it's not important. We'll just, we'll say that and we'll leave it there. Um, bananas are the best fruit though, never forget. <laughs> I mean, some people called it a cult. It was more of like a, uh, it was more of a, a group of people. It was more of like a, a brotherhood, a, uh, like a club, right? More of like a, more like a, a coalition of people allied together to, you know, progress certain ideologies and enforce their will on others. But then the fruit bowl happened, and all the fruits lived together equally with the banana at the top. No, not a cult. Not a cult. No. No. Again, it's a long story, and I just feel like if I tried to explain it now, it could only come off wrong, you know? Does this thing drain ATB? Is that what I'm seeing happen right now? Here it comes! Rip. Let's go. Dude never stood a chance, man. Just went. He just did the tumbling down, down, down. Now he gonna die. It's a gosh darn shame, is what it is. That how it be sometimes, you know. Out of the way, Tifa. Uh oh. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna have to fight it. I said we were going to. <laughs> Hide. Like there's only one way to go. We were headed that way anyway. Are we not gonna fight it? Are we just gonna run? I guess we're gonna wait for it to stop firing and then we're gonna run. Okay then game. Problem is, <laughs> problem is, if you if, <laughs> if you don't go immediately, that happens. You just get pushed backwards. Look at this. Just keep going, Cloud. Don't stop. Just don't stop. I'm not the one stopping him from moving. By the way, when he gets shot, that's the game. I have no control over that. Oh dear. Okay, there's two of them now. This time it's this time it's personal. Remember what I said earlier about how that wasn't too bad, but if there was two of them, we might be in for some trouble? Well, there's two of them now, and I think we might be in for some trouble. This is gonna stay. not hitting this guy at all here. Here it 
Now roll. Before that shot gets fired. Oh, it's flying now. I feel like it's about to... Oh, okay. I was going to say do a big attack. It was. That's what it was getting ready to do. Can confirm now. Get closer to it, Cloud. Oh, it's put up some kind of a force field. What the heck is happening right now? Can't even get stood up right. Oh, uh, we'll see you later, good guy 140. Thank you for tuning in and uh, and joining us for this little adventure. And hey, maybe don't mention to anyone the cult thing because we're still there's still certain parties looking for us on that. You know, I'm pretty sure we're all still wanted in Wisconsin or something like that. So just you know. Good job, team. So are those just... They can transfer from walking to flying. Is that what the flying one is, then? It's not that big a deal, if that's the case. Because we just aced that. Also, though, the music has not let up. So maybe we're still in danger. Uh-oh, whirly bird dudes. We're so close to our objective, location objective. We're like, basically there. They're going to come dropping in, aren't they? Stop yeah, that's what I thought. Deal with that. Let me handle this. Yes, it's my turn. <laughs> Whatever. Hope you don't mind. That's awkward. That's gonna stop. <laughs> Just realized that there is in fact a place to rest back here, so I might as well throw everything at them. What are they giving me? Three mega potions. They are giving me two ethers. This is the same as downstairs, isn't it? And two Phoenix Downs. What does that tell you about whatever it is we're about to get into up ahead? Hey, hello, Rondo. You've watched a ton of people play this, right? In terms of hours, how many, how much time do you think there is left in the game? Would you reckon? Would you guess? Why even have this here then? We can't run down that that staircase. What's the purpose? Oh, something's about to happen.
Or a price. No comment on that moment. That was just a nice little moment between all the characters. You know? Acting like this is all about to end soon. Little do they know. No, this one's definitely bigger. That's not my imagination, is it? Oh, no! Can I actually cast spells so I can cast Cure? Well, that was short. <laughs> that was very short. Was getting tired of playing tag anyway. Come on. Keep it together. Okay, let's go. All right. Watch and learn. Bring it. I got no idea how to attack this guy. But what I do know how to do is assess the Valkyrie. High speed aerial weapon manufactured by Shinra's advanced weaponry division. Its giant cannon launches grenades and status ailment bombs. Melee, lightning, and wind attacks rapidly fill its stagger gauge. The long range and magic attacks only have a slight effect. All attacks have a slight effect on the stagger gauge during limited override deal. Oh, goodness. I got like hiccup burps. Deal a certain amount of physical damage to slow its movements. Limit over deal. Uh, lightning and wind. Okay. Pretty much, this is going to be Barrett's fight, I guess. Because now we can do uh, one of these. This is a weird one so far. You okay? Oh, this is grand. Oh, look, there goes Tifa. She's about to get yeeted. Who's not tired right now? Came the Tifa show, didn't it? No, no, it had so much health left. It's not done yet. What the hell? Oh, it just called for assistance, didn't it? That's what that was. 
Roll. Oh, you got Don't get caught in the open. Okay. Do your chakra. Hear yourself. Oh, what are the odds we're gonna get this off before we die? Somehow. And then we've got to awkwardly choose. Whose summon we want to use? Because it's almost it's there. Whose summon are we summoning? Barracks is the only one we can. It's Shiva. She's ice-based. Is she going to be able to do anything against this guy? More than the Chocobo, probably. Also, we've never summoned her before. Summoned the other two. Actually, you know what? I think we did once summon her. But I don't remember what she did. Because I think it was like at the end of a fight against some sort of experiment creature. If my mind does not betray me. Did it just shoot itself with that? Is that what just happened? Is that what I just saw happen? Because I want to believe that's what I saw happen. Okay, Cloud. My dude. My special best friend. Cure yourself first. And then Tifa. Oh boy. Oh, no. He just went to sleep inside of it. Unfortunate, honestly. Oh, but Shiva's doing a thing now. This might have been the most wasteful summon ever. I don't know. Good work out there. No, actually not, because it saved Barrett's life. Good. Cloud. Heal Barrett, please. We want it to trigger while it's underneath it, because it looked like that's what it was doing the last time. And it actually hit him. Maybe we can use that laser to break through its barrier? Oh yeah, maybe so. That's what I was trying to do. Is that what's happening right now? Does it have some sort of an unstoppable barrier? If that's the case, we want to be Tifa. Tifa's the fastest. Here we go. Right here, laser. Come on. Yeah. That's what we're after. Oh! Bring it down! Bring it down! So long. Yeah! Good job, team. Not that there was ever any doubt. Well, I mean, I was a couple of moments there. Bit of doubt. <gasps> now what? A kamikaze robot, courtesy of me, Dr. Evil. Oh, it's kamikaze bride. That's what it is. Love me some Austin Powers. Cloud! Donkey! It's a reference. 
Only the cultured among you will understand. Everybody's warmed up. I feel like he was looking at me when he said that. That's what I feel. I feel like he was looking my eyes into his eyes and his eyes into mine. Pizza time. Oh, the pizza in the sky keeps on turning. Bahamut. What? Sorry, you're just dropping that? wonder if there's a bunch of elevators in this building. Wait a minute, is this the box art? Oh, yeah! That's good. out the welcome wagon gotta say I can't help but wonder if this is a lost cause well you know some lost causes are worth fighting for let's just think this through yeah like fighting for good Star Wars so I got an idea frontal assault guns please make for a good story why'd we bring you along again Rear entrance. We'll get inside via the parking garage. And we'll do that. You folks know where this is going. Next time. Thank you all for tuning in. It's been a really good one. Uh, there's three chapters left, so we're going to pick up tomorrow morning. And who knows, depending on how I feel, you know, if I get enough caffeine in me before we start... Maybe we'll knock them all out. We got uh, 16, 17, and 18, I believe, is all that's left in the game. So we might finish the whole thing up tomorrow. Till next time, thank you, folks, for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us during this live stream. If you enjoyed it, please share it with a friend or loved one. They'll enjoy it as well, and thank you are really cool for watching it. Also, big thanks to our patron supporters. Check out the link in the description or head to patreon.com slash howdyfolks to find out how you can become a patron or executive producer. Until next time, thank you, folks, for watching. God bless you, and we'll see you later.